right, so beyond disappointing day, um, you know, we start fast and we play really sloppy and really bad in the second quarter and, you know, kind of start playing better on both sides and, um, you know, in the third quarter and basically the, the game comes down at the end. Uh, we got a chance to win it in every phase and, you know, we stop them. We got the ball up four with the ball and we go three and out and punt it back and stop them in three and, um, or get to the fourth down, what, fourth and seven and, throw a go route. So I got to credit Stoops. That's not anything he's probably ever done in his life. And, you know, he's um, got out of his character and three and a half minutes left. So I commend him for doing that. And it's a, I'm sure your little ESPN percentage is probably does 98% winning at that point. So um, good throw, good play by them. And then um, still have a chance to stop them and don't. And we get it back and move it down and miss a field goal. So, you know, all three phases had chances to win the game or at least tie the game and didn't do it. So, commend them on a big win for them. But, you know, very, very discouraging, disappointing, um, especially with 11 a.m. kick. So, it's 3 o'clock, so you got all day to sit around and deal with this, which is a game that could have went so many – could have went our way so many different ways, and we didn't make the plays. We didn't close them out, you know, when we have the ball up by a score and not make it come down to a play um, here or there. Questions? Who wants to start us off? Lane, it just felt like the offensive line after that first possession was just kind of overmatched throughout the game. Is that something y'all – sense could be an issue heading in against that defensive front? I'm, I've said it all week, so I'm not saying it just because, you know, we lost the game. You know, that, that guy is a phenomenal elite player, and they got big, long defensive players, and they added the Georgia Mike that's made a total difference for them from a mentality standpoint. And these guys hadn't given up 300 yards the whole year. And Georgia at times couldn't do anything against them. So um, they're going to give people problems. and. Uh, we didn't. We certainly didn't help ourselves. We've talked a lot about the penalties. Did you feel like they were as big of a, a problem today? And just, uh, I guess, overall, especially defensive penalties. How? What was your message to the team uh, about those? Yeah, they were a major problem. What the first half? There's two third downs and a fourth down conversion by defensive holding or defensive pass interference, and those are major things you know and then on the other side we go one of ten on third downs for the day so um, those things usually aren't going to add up very well Lane on Kentucky's fourth down the long pass to Brown was that man coverage was that just he got past him yeah we ran pressure and it's man and they made a great throw very I mean very unusual, the whole situation, if you study people and analytics and how people coach. So I told him after the game, great job, man. I, I certainly think it's a reaction to all the criticism he got in the Georgia when he punted. punted. So he went out of character and threw a go ball. Guy made a great throw, great catch, and, and you know, so I commend them. It certainly wasn't out of character for you to go for fourth and seven, and you guys converted with the touchdown to Trey. And in that moment, did you kind of feel like that was a momentum swinger and you, you would take take off from there? Yeah, I really did. I thought that was going to, you know, I thought that was going to springboard us into probably, you know, a two, two possession type of win type of game because um, we'd been playing good defense and um, needed needed a play like that to spark us and thought the, the crowd was great at that point. And so I really thought it was going to be just one of those games that starts really close for a while and, and then we kind of finished them off, and we didn't do that. And we had every opportunity to do it. We had the ball in our hands, up by four, right? And three and out. How do you think Jackson played tonight overall? I thought he did some good things. I thought he, um, you know, he wasn't almost perfect like he had been coming into the game, you know. You're going to see a deep post early where Trey runs by the guy, and he misses a throw, and we're just used to him making that. Well. People miss those once in a while, and especially just play better players. So um, I thought he 
played tough um, and you know probably got um, frustrated at times but still didn't really force the ball he did a good job even when he was frustrated Lane, you've had a lot of these games where you were on the winning side, yeah. you know, when it went down to the stretch. But, you know, coming off as a loser today, uh, how do you regroup your team and kind of get them composed? Yeah, you guys have been around, that have been around, have heard me say, like, we would, you know, all of a sudden our program isn't terrible. You know, just like when we may, when they miss a field goal or don't get a two-point conversion at the end of a game, I didn't tell you we got all the answers. So we've been on a lot of these where we won them, you know, and all kinds of things could happen there. You know, what are the analytics of a go route on fourth and seven? You know, or that we got a great kicker and he misses, um, or that our defense gives up a touchdown. So that could have went either ways, and I'm not going to sit up here and say if it goes the other way that all of a sudden we got it all figured out. Um, we, I've been saying the same thing about third downs um, and penalties. So um, same thing. I'm not going to overreact in a loss, just like I don't overreact in a tight win or a tight loss. What did you tell your guys uh, in the locker room after this one wrapped up? Yeah, I just told them that it's it's one of those, you know, that you need to learn for all of football for however long you play. You got to close people out, man. You can't let people hang around because things happen, and people throw a go route on fourth and seven and catch it, you know. Um, so you don't want to get to that point. You want to finish them off before that when we have the ball and have the lead. So. You can't let people hang around, especially in this conference. What, what you discovered at halftime to allow the run game to kind of come around after first half couldn't be a drop? Yeah, a little formationally different and a little more kind of cut back ish on them. Um, they're big and strong and uh, they're, they're very physical. So people have struggled to have success running against them. And so we got a little bit better air with some different little kind of wind back things and stuff. Um, but still, one of 10 on third down, that's, that's a, you're going to win a lot of games with that. Uh, just af after a day like today, how important are things like, like culture and leadership from guys like Jackson? Going forward. Yeah, they're, they're going to be huge. It ain't going to happen right now in the locker room. You know, um, that's going to happen as you get into the rest of the week and preparing and, um, you know, understanding that we've got to learn from things. And, you know, one game doesn't define a season. Just like a close win doesn't define a whole season. A close loss doesn't either. I think we screwed that up more than anything on offense. When you go one of 10 on third down, you know, we're not making the first downs to get that. You saw the first series and how it gave them the problem. And, you know, they're offsides because they can't even get to the ball and line up. And then I just said it during the week, too. If you don't make the first first downs, you can't really get going. And that plays into their hands. So in uh, time of possession is never you know, what, look at all the analytics you want. That doesn't win or lose games. Um, going one of 10 on third downs loses games. Coach, do you think uh, how easy it was the first four games supposedly, you know, that they kind of got hit in the mouth today and didn't respond as well as you'd hope? Again, I'm not going to overreact because we don't finish a game off, you know, so it's a fair question. But, you know, the hit in the mouth and not react, well, we got down and came back and took the lead and didn't finish him off. and stopped them and got the ball back with the lead. So I'm not going to overreact to that. Um, now I would have if it would have kept going that way and, you know, we lose and don't have a rally. But uh, I don't think that that was the issue. Obviously, games come down to more than just one play. Just how did you see Caden take that miss? And did you see any guys trying to pick him up or anything like that? Um, no, I didn't witness all that. I just saw the miss. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks.